I started off this New York video and I just got into the room and when I say she's tiny, like she is, she's petite, she's double zero, she's really cute and small. Um, but we're at the AC downtown, I guess is what it's called, it's in Fidei, which is, I feel like where I've stayed the last million times I've been here. Not a being dark AF. Um, okay. I knew as soon as I opened the door and like the first thing I saw was the foot of the bed that this was gonna be a small one, but it's it's fine, I'm fine. It's fine, I'm fine. Um, they let me check in early, which is probably why this is the room I got, you know, cause you can't have everything in this world. You just can't. But anyway, popped off my shoes, bag, um, closet over here, bed, fine, desk, lounge area, view, it's giving absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's giving nothing. Um, and then bathroom, oh, the bathroom is like not that bad, but here, oh, actually this is kind of cute, this is a vibe. Um, and then the shower's a vibe. This, this stuff is cute, except I guess I'm getting naked right, well, there's people out here eating. <laughs> I'm just like getting naked. There's no, oh, there is a screen thing in here. Okay, cool. Anyways, I am in New York for Target Holiday. Um, the first stop, it's three stops this time around. The last time they did it, I think, was in 2019. And they just did it in New York, I think. But this time around, we were doing three stops. And the first one is New York, then it goes to Dallas, then it goes to LA. Um, I am going on site just for the New York one, which is the first one, which like I'm a little nervous about. But it's gonna be super fun. And I was driving in just now, and we're on Pier 16 and 17. And you can literally see the install from the street. Like I wasn't expecting, I was like, oh, like let me try to like lean around. Cause I was like on the right side of the road and it was on the left. I was like, oh, like I'll be able to like maybe see like a peak of something. And all the builds are like right there. Like I could perfectly see it in from the car, which is kind of crazy. Like it's going to be tight. <laughs> like it's going to be, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be great as far as like maneuverability or whatever, but I'm excited for it. I am trying to decide right now if I want to grab something to eat before I head over there or just head over there and like see what's going on first. I kind of want to do that because I'm not that hungry. My flight was super chill. I took a 9.30 flight, which is so nice. I usually like get like a seven or an eight, like super early one. And it was so nice because I didn't really have to get up that much earlier than I regularly would. But yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to change too. I think I'm just gonna leave what I have on because like I'm just about to be outside this whole time anyways so yeah I am not gonna bring my phone up there just because whenever I'm on site we just like leave our bags and everything just like anywhere so I don't feel bad about having my work laptop and stuff in there but as far as like my personal things I just don't want them like strewn about so I'm gonna try to take clips on my phone and I will show you a little bit of what's going on today. Today is like above, but like bigger pieces being installed and stuff like that, so. See like this is what I'm talking about. Like I can literally see <laughs> this pattern has been giving us so much grief. It's a group, so. throwing on some makeup because I'm about to go meet, sorry for this horrible angle, I have nothing to put my camera up on in here, um, but I'm about to go meet Alyssa and Elizabeth for a drink or two. We're going to this place called the Canary Club. Actually, I haven't had dinner, so I'm gonna try to eat there as well. So hopefully they have like somewhat decent food menu, but I'm super excited. I'm just like running a little bit behind because we have a reservation at eight and I wasn't able to walk away until like 7.05 or something. So I'm just rushing to get ready as always. 
I feel like there's not a single time when I'm on, I look like a ghost right now, don't worry about it. Um, there's not a single time when I'm on site that I like have, I just had to switch to my phone because my battery died, <laughs> which, yeah. Um, I need to put my battery on the charger before I leave. So that way I can have it tomorrow. But stuff is looking like really together. I'm like so excited, honestly. To run out because my Uber is already about to be here, but very simple outfit, thrifted jeans, this top I just got from H&M, thrifted wool long coat that I never get to wear, boots that don't even really go with this outfit, but I never get to wear them and I think they look cute with these jeans and they kind of match my purse. And yeah, did my makeup so freaking fast, but it kind of turned out cute. But yeah, I need to get by my Uber. I need to take a vlog with. <laughs> where are we up, guys? Tell us where we are. We're in Canary Club in the Lower East Side, Manhattan, New York. Ever uh -huh. heard of it? Ever heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> Ever heard of it? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, this, okay, so uh -huh. zoomed in. Uh -huh. This uh -huh. is my building, my unit's like about there. Wait, so, okay, now zoom out. So zoom out. Alyssa is approximately here. Okay, so you're north from Alyssa. So like, yeah, not okay, very far. Okay, okay. Right off the shuttle, I think. We, oh, right off the shuttle. It's so easy to get to you. I was, <laughs> I was next to you yesterday. Yeah, there's a line called the shuttle. I was at Lincoln. Oh, it's just three stops. Oh, never heard of it. I was at Lincoln yesterday. I got something on the marketplace. I just got home from dinner, but I totally forgot to say I got the f***ing hookup literally these bottles it's like a hundred dollars a bottle these days and i got six full-size bottles of the advanced night serum plus where's my shit up plus bro plus all these sample size like are you kidding me the homie looked out like are you kidding so i'm really 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 excited about that because i'm convinced that my skin has been struggling since i ran out like since i ran out it has been struggling and i'm like oh my god i'm so happy right now i'm not even gonna open the big ones right now but like how crazy like this i would say that like all these samples probably equal up to at least three of these full size so like nine of the like this is at least like eight hundred dollars worth of stuff which is like absolutely crazy, you know, just crazy. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to break, break into the sample size. I'm not going to open the full size ones yet until I get home, but I am so excited. Good morning. I am about to head out the door and grab a coffee and then head over to site. Um, yeah, I got back from dinner last night. Dinner was so fun. I think I took like one clip, but I'm glad I got to see Elizabeth and I think I'm gonna hang out again with Alyssa on Friday night and do like a night in which I'm super excited about um, But I'm in my all black fit today. You probably can't even see because I can't find a good like lighting spot in here at all but Yeah, I am thinking about where I want to go get coffee and I talk about this all the time but um, Bi Dye is where so the first company I worked for I used to have to come up to New York once a month and um, there was this coffee shop that I would always meet my boss at called Black Fox Coffee or something like that. And we would always make fun of it. And we would, it was very like similar to um, this coffee shop in Charlotte that we would go to. We would call it pretentious. Like it's just one of those typical like pretentious coffee shops. And so I don't know, it's just like funny memories. So I'm thinking I might go walk over there and grab a coffee. <laughs> um, either there or there's also a La Colombe, uh actual like brick and mortar um like the brand that you would buy in the store but they have an actual coffee shop i might go there i don't know there's also Dunkin'. there's also starbucks all within like five minutes so i'm trying to decide what i want um because i should probably grab something to eat as well um but yeah maybe i'll do black fox another day because like that's just like nostalgic and funny i don't actually like their coffee that was the whole point was like they're all they're so pretentious but like their coffee isn't even that great so i honestly might hit duncan oh i don't know what i want but anyway first world problems i am gonna go do that and then head over i'm supposed to be there at nine i'll probably be a little early it's only 8 15 right now
What is it, like 12K? How many boys does it take? I've lost my All right, so this is where they'll be able to play Mario Kart. And then the screens are in here now. This is where, where they'll be able to play Mario Wonder, which is the new game. Boombox is live. VR will be here. Have our Barbie stuff over here. And then Lego. And for Lego, we're able to do this little make and take situation. And make a little snowflake. My flight is at noon, but I'm gonna do one last walkthrough because I didn't get a chance to actually go through everything once it was set. So I think I'm gonna do that now. It's my last morning before we're completely gone, or I'm completely gone from here. It's covered right now, but we have the bolt that is usually popped out to here with up lighting, and then we have our Wonderland letters with up lighting there. Sneak in really quick. Okay. And so we have we killed one of these directional signs. We originally have to we have two made, but we just did one just because of space for this particular market. This is what the entrance moment is looking like. This is what we're doing for overnight messaging, so that way people passing by aren't trying to get in even though we're closed um, and then queue obviously happens here and it stretched all the way down there to the water over there um, we ended up having to place these pedestals in order to provide the most walkway possible so that's why they're all like shoved to the side like that um, and then two from this area we had to strike because they were literally being taken apart ripped apart by kids um, so these are the two we have left standing here. Um, Tiny Target turned out so cute. That's what's over here. And this is, um, I think gonna stay the same as we pivot for day two. This all looks good. And actually this I feel like was not that bad when it came to kids climbing and stuff because of these stanchions. For whatever reason, these little baby stanchions actually do help. Um, toys over here all the clouds just so you know we had cl the clouds here came off were ripped off um, half of this is like missing and messed up because kids ripped it off half of this is missing and ripped off because
kids were doing, hanging on it. There was a little Batman on like a motorcycle literally screwed in here. A kid took it and literally broke it. And yeah. Um, also like half of this guy is missing. That's a different problem. Um, oh yeah, like this part of this, cause this is three of the same exact thing. This one is missing its wings. <laughs> So who knows where that ended up. Um, carousels were actually like less of a problem for whatever reason. I think because it seems more, a lot of these seem more like packaging rather than just like the toy exposed. This, I'm like shocked that all of these guys are still here. Like absolutely shocked. Um, I need to grab a glue dot for this guy. I feel like he's supposed to be here. Um, this... <laughs> The leg of the pop-up book was ripped off. This one's good. This one's good. The switch is just the box, obviously. I feel like over here we didn't have any major issues besides this. With just like figurines being pulled off. This was good. This was good. Um, and I believe okay, over here is similar except for this. I think got a little damaged, but I don't think it's as enticing for kids to like pull things off of it. Um, and once again, stuff that was that's in packaging, a lot easier. Claw machines, literally the most popular thing. This queue yesterday ran all of this and took over the entire space and ended up going down that way. So we're moving those today from here to over there when we strike all these pedestals claw machines will be over on that wall just so you know and then we'll be queuing using this area because this area in front of peppermint ended up being a lot less um, congested so we're going to utilize that space for queue line for claw machines and have it be something that's more of a thing on your way out yeah but very popular very successful people loved it um barbie dream house is literally only still standing because we had one dedicated BA here literally ripping the dolls out of children's hands to keep them from taking them away basically um and then as far as the wish list I think that everything went super super smooth there's no like crazy feedback about um process I believe we had like one printer down for like a little part of the day but overall pretty successful and then going over to this side I'm gonna go in the exit we basically landed on queuing one side of gingerbread and exiting out the other using the train to stop people from entering into this arch um, this was all Lisa Z call because she needed this main thoroughfare to stay as open as possible we originally had it pulled away from the building more but we had to leave it there basically um, candy wall as far as interactions on this side of the peppermint platform this part worked really well um, I don't know whether this was in the drawings, but they ended up making this a bowl. We have tinsel in here just so like when it falls, it's not making like a super loud noise. Um, so it's just like, we can keep that or not. I don't really care. I just like didn't like the clunk that it made. I just felt like it wasn't elegant. So this part was working really good. Train stayed working the entire day. That was super successful. Lego train, pull Lego in general was very popular this whole back corner was super super popular everyone loved it but it got very very hectic especially when the master builder was here so basically every time the master builder went live these three tables were brought to this like small center area um and there was like a lot of crowding but what can you do um i think we're gonna have a different plan for that as well but scrolling back job went well photo op went well nothing ever went down to my knowledge um, the make and take is super, super cute. Um, but once again, it's just like, look at all these Lego pieces, like in the, <laughs> like, it's just like chaos. Um, over here, we might have to end up queuing for this, but we, we didn't at all yesterday. Um, we just had it be something that was like more natural that families could gravitate towards, but people just formed their own line for the most part. Barbie 
super, super good, no issues. The only issues, of course, are the props. Not the props, but the, um, the toys themselves. Like, just stuff getting taken. I don't even know what's going on with her. <laughs> stuff getting taken. Um, and everyone being a bit disheveled. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, and then power pumps. Surprisingly, the line was never long. Um, but I mean, I don't think it's because people didn't want to play it. I think that people, we were just moving people through quick and it was more of like a, a bigger kid experience. So the toddlers and stuff like were not like anywhere near this line. Um, boom box, cool. DJ was great. No comments on that. Mario Kart. The line was longer for Mario Kart than for Wonder. But it, this area, I don't know why, but this area felt a lot more open. I think that we don't need this much queue. I would love to condense this queue in for Mario Kart and then use some of this space that's created to bring, to make more room for Lego for when those um, spike moments programming happens. VR, the only issue is the sign. Once again, here is a lot different than our other um, locations, but we had to bring in this pipe and drape. <laughs> there was like literally no other solution. It still went down during midday for a little bit um, because of the sun affecting the game. I don't know tons about the technology, but for whatever reason, it wasn't working, but they're trying to get a different type of VR headset that works in the sun, no matter what, for the other locations because it was so bad. I don't see it being a problem in Dallas, but possibly LA could be a problem. Um, so yeah, I think that this queue is gonna condense. Um, and then as far as the costume characters and the giveaways, we ended up changing the plan up a little bit. Um, we have like a hundred thousand of the Nintendo gift wrap. Um, and that just got distributed here. Like literally like as people are passing by, like take, 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 whatever. We didn't have the room here to have this desk be mobile. So we just had to pull it away. Um, which worked out fine. We'll see what happens. Um, and then costume characters just activated in the space. Um, and it happened often enough that people like never, this line was never empty. Um, it was, yeah, another crowd pleaser. So I think that that's everything. Um, I feel like I want to make a different video about lighting um, and just the different tones and everything. Um, so that way we can replicate it and we don't have to do as much running around as we did here.